good morning guys welcome back or to the channel in today's video we're gonna be doing something a little bit different so y'all know uh a couple weeks ago now we uh picked up a sandblast cabinet it's currently in the shop but uh we picked up a sandblast cabinet and i mentioned something about us restoring it so i did some made some phone calls talked to somebody and uh well here in a couple days we should have a package here for the sandblaster so we're gonna get that unboxed we're probably not gonna install anything but we are gonna get it unboxed take a look at it and i'm also gonna give y'all a little dive into the second channel stuff and uh stuff like that so i'll catch y'all here in a couple days we'll go over that unbox everything take a look at everything and see what we got all right so i actually just got home um i shut that door because it's hot outside but uh, i just got home and uh we have a package here from our friends over at blast it all so i'm not exactly sure what is in here um y'all know we got the mr or the little blaster uh sandblast cabinet i keep thinking mr blaster mr heater but anyway um, we got the little blaster out there and uh, I mentioned something about I was going to reach out to them talk with them and see kind of what they recommended and that kind of thing and they were gracious enough to actually want to work with us on that cabinet in a few videos so like I said I'm not exactly sure what all is in this box but um, like I said it was here when I got back from the family reunion thing um, so I just cut the tape I'm gonna open it up here and uh, let's see what we got. Okay, so like I said, uh, I know there was a few things that uh, I had talked to uh, the folks over there about, but I'm not exactly sure what all is in here. So let's, uh, well, let's dive in. Uh, so looks like we got uh, seals for the doors um, and everything because those were shot. Uh, on the left hand door <laughs> when I open the door half of the uh, seal weather stripping whatever you want to call it stuck to the cabinet so um, that is kind of a must but have that and cardboard uh, and also you all know I make decals and stuff so if we repaint uh, the cabinet I'm going to take and I'm going to make some fresh new decals for it. And I think it'll look really, really nice. Um, I'm not exactly sure how far we're going to take this whole restoration thing. Um, but I think it would be cool to give it a nice fresh uh, layer of paint. Throw some new decals on it. Make it look really, really nice. So we also have their pop-in gloves. These are really cool. So I was actually watching some videos about these because uh, I seen them on their website and um, I was actually looking on their website before uh, I even made the video and had the video the video finished and I seen these and I thought these were really cool. So these are their pop-in gloves. Uh, so no clamps like uh, what our cabinet has or anything like that. You squeeze them together, you put them in, and then you let go of them, they pop in place. And uh, they have a little, I don't know if you can see that. They have a little groove in here that seats. Uh, so these should be really, really nice. Um, and unlike the gloves that are in the cabinet, these might actually fit my arms. So uh, we'll test that out. Actually, I'm going to do that right now and uh, see how these fit. Because like I said, the ones in the cabinet are way too small. Um, so that's, that's that, uh, but these seem to be perfect, a little tight around the wrist, but, uh, I'm sure these will break in. These are actually really, really nice. I do like that, um, long, nice and long. So these should be perfect for the cabinet. Uh, and we have the other, yep, the other one. For that, it seems to be smaller. We'll have to see about that. Um, but 
Anyway, I'm going to get the rest of this stuff out. Looks like all this is in uh, packaging. So I'll cut this packaging off of here and uh, we'll get the rest of this stuff out. Okay, so here we have a few other things. Now, um, these screws came with these rings. These, I believe, are adapters uh, for the pop-in gloves. Um, so, I believe you screw these, these uh, self-tappers and uh, regular bolts. And I believe you attach these to the front of the cabinet and uh, the gloves will pop into these. So, we have this. We have a new um, media. I won't want to say gun because YouTube is YouTube, but uh, that's essentially what it is, sandblast gun. Um, and I will say, I've seen these online, uh, but these look really, really nice. Um, should be nice uh, with a glove on for me, and I have uh, big hands. So, um, super excited about this. Super excited about all of it, really. Uh, cause I cannot wait to try out the new cabinet. And then, here, if you're wondering what this is, um, this did come with some hardware as well. A roll of Mylar. Uh, Mylar, what this is, we'll get into this here in a second. And then uh, this. This is their Mylar dispenser. Uh, so this will mount on the cabinet like so. It's got a nice uh, piece here. Uh, but this will mount on the cabinet uh, like so. And then your Mylar sits in here. And this is essentially a Mylar dispenser uh, for the cabinet. So uh, Mylar, as you can see, is clear. Uh, and what Mylar does is it saves your glass. So with that cabinet, we did get uh, several sheets of glass for it. Uh, but Mylar... With the use of Mylar, uh, that glass that we have with that cabinet should last a very, very long time. Um, and this one thing we talked about on the phone is pretty, is, is really pretty cool. Um, you know, our Harbor Freight cabinet has like Mylar sheets um, that are, you know, they're probably a little bit smaller than the glass. Um, and then they have like tape around them that you peel the tape off and you stick it to the inside of the glass. Uh, but the bad thing about that is what we found. And sorry if I look like a mess. Um, I was riding around in 300 with the sunroof open. Um, but anyway, what we found with the uh, stick-on sheets, like what came with the Harbor Freight uh, blaster. Now, the Harbor Freight blaster has been good to us after modifications. Um, I will say, <laughs> but I'm excited to see what the little blaster does and how it works and everything, um, like stuff like this. They sent me a video and I checked it out, uh, talking about CFM and stuff like that. Y'all know our air compressor is uh, 15 CFM, uh, I believe it's like 14.6 or 15.2 or something like around 15. Um, now, like they were talking about. I believe Harbor Freight claims that all you need is 12 CFM to run one of those, but our compressor has a hard time keeping up with that system. Um, and they did a video where they did all the math, and it's, it's a really cool video, and I will link that down below if y'all want to check it out. And I'll also link their website down below as well if y'all want to check those guys out. Uh, super helpful, super, super nice people. But uh, anyway, like I was saying, they actually did the math and everything with these, and I believe they said this is a 7 CFM uh, setup here. So we're going to see how our compressor does with this. Same compressor. Um, you know, same, same, same. So anyway. But anyway, like I was saying, uh, with the sheets that came with the Harbor Freight, they, uh, what we found is media gets in them and gets stuck. And they don't last very long. They're kind of a pain in the butt to change, uh, especially with the glass in the cabinet. Uh, whereas the Mylar dispenser here, 
what you do is you loosen your glass just a little bit um, you leave a little bit sticking out on the other side and you grab it you pull it through you cut it off whatever you want to do and uh, you have a fresh sheet that fast uh, which I think is gonna be awesome so uh, I don't know if we're gonna get to installing this stuff in this video I just want to do a little unboxing here kind of talking about everything and uh, whatnot and like I was saying I think we are going to paint that cabinet I'll have to talk to my grandpa see what he wants to do uh, I know we've talked about it you know kind of back and forth and you know everything so we'll see uh, we'll I guess cuss and discuss as he says all the time and uh, see what he or we're gonna do there um, because I mean at the end of the day these shiny parts uh, would look great on the cabinet but it would kind of make the cabinet not as look not as nice um, or not look as nice there we go but anyway I just wanted to show you all this stuff because I think this stuff is really really cool um, and I mean it's just it's just me today so I'm not going to get into this I am going to ask them about the different size gloves because the left hand glove does not fit <laughs> If we're being completely honest. And, you know, stuff like the Mylar dispenser and uh, these adapter rings. And the gloves, for that matter, and the seals. All this stuff, really, um, except for the gun here. Because this will be in the cabinet. Um, I really don't want to put on if we're going to paint it. So we'll have to figure that out. But, anyway, uh, like I said, I don't know if we're going to get into that today. But I did want to show you all something else. That is pretty cool. That is in my office. Okay, so I don't know how all these videos are going to fall and uh, whatnot, but y'all seen <laughs> we went to Memphis in the 300 and I picked up a laser engraver. Um, everything's just kind of thrown on here. Yesterday, this office was a freaking mess, but. Um, I still got to get to organizing stuff around and figuring out where I want everything, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I'm hoping that this office is temporary. Um, hopefully not very long, but we went to Memphis, picked up this laser. I come back, I put it together. Uh, this is for the Sega channel. I will leave a link to the Sega channel below and I'll put a screenshot up here on the screen, but, um, X tool D1 5 watt. It's a nice machine, has a rotary. Um, but I was scrolling Marketplace the other day, paid, I think I paid 400, yeah, 400, and then gas cost me like 60 bucks in gas, not a big deal. Uh, but I was scrolling Facebook Marketplace the other day, and I found this one. <laughs> this one, this one's a little larger. Uh, um, it's the same width, but this is also an X tool D1. Same as that one, uh, but this one started life as a 10 watt laser. Uh, and I say started life as because it now has a 20 watt laser. Uh, so we should be able to engrave things faster and you know, all this stuff. Um, you know, four times the power of that machine there. Uh, this unit also has the honeycombs uh, and a little sheet underneath the way I don't burn my table. Um, this is another thing I did yesterday. So me and my grandpa built this table to put this on. <laughs> uh, wiring, we'll talk about wiring in a minute. Uh, but this has extension kit, the honeycombs, 20 watt laser, air assist, which is pretty cool, uh, in my opinion. Uh, and also have a rotary, I think it's over there. So, the, the guy did give me the 10 watt laser that came with this. Uh, it is also over there in a box. So now I could take the 10 watt laser, put on that machine, give it some more power, and I can have this one for doing big stuff, which, uh, like I said, I think is pretty cool. Um, so this is why I haven't really been working on a ton of automotive stuff. Y'all probably can't tell because I film a bunch of videos and have them uh, and whatnot. But this is something I just kind of wanted to show y'all. Uh, so I've been organizing in here 
most I can. Took this, moved it down, took the freezer. It's in the kitchen now. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so, like I said, this thing's pretty cool. Uh, it is a bit noisier <laughs> than the other one uh, because, let's see, let me unplug the laser. Okay, also, don't mind this piece of vinyl. Um, this is for a buddy. I had this piece of scrap, and I thought it would work for his, but uh, a little, little too short. But anyway, um, so that laser over there, one plug in for power and then USB to the computer, or you can run it off of uh, Wi Fi. Um, these two here. So, power, USB. If we turn this strip on, that allows the laser to have power, which I just unplugged. And uh, as you can hear, that is the just the laser running there. So, on this setup with the upgraded laser, um, the laser has constant power. It doesn't turn off unless we turn the switch off or I unplug it, uh, which I'm going to do. And I will probably, no, I got it. Okay, so that unplugs that all together. Um, then this one is for the machine. And yes, I know, power strip. I know, <laughs> but this one is for the machine itself. Uh, like I said, that other plug is for the laser. And then we have another plug down here on the end. Uh, that one's for the plotter. But we have another plug down here on the end, which is for the air assist. Um, that's a little pump there. Come over here. That is for air assist. So pretty cool. Uh, I just thought I would show you all this because um, I think it's interesting. And this is what I've been playing with for the last two weeks. <laughs> uh, but I have done a few different things. I've done some stuff for friends and, you know, whatnot. Open this. But I have done a few different things. I've uh, done some stuff for friends and whatnot. Um tumbler i haven't done anything on this machine yet because uh, like i said we just got that table yesterday set up uh but also got done some wood stuff done some plaques um did a plaque for my mom for mother's day which tomorrow's mother's day so um but i don't know if y'all seen this yet if you're not following the second channel um please do would appreciate it that's where we're going to start doing uh, most of this content at between, you know, decals. Um, I mean, I don't know if y'all know this or not. I've had this decal machine, this uh, cutter from U.S. Cutters. This is the MH871MK2, you can see there, uh, from U.S. Cutter. I bought this thing in 2019, and it's been great. So, I want to start showing some of that stuff if you would call it business, um, like a business channel, if you will. But uh, this is not a business. I had a business at one point. There. <laughs> uh, and same thing that's on my shirt pocket. See there. Um, but I've been kind of wanting to get back into that, uh, if we're being honest. Okay, so... Uh, I forgot, I have a tripod in here too that I've been filming time lapses and I'll actually put one of those on the screen of uh, my tumbler over there. So, uh, that's, that's, I think that's pretty cool, um, if we're being honest. But, like I said, I've been wanting to kind of get back into that like, business stuff. 
Um, so I figured I start a second channel. Uh, that's where all the laser stuff's going to be. That's where, unless I laser stuff for, you know, the trucks or the 300 or, you know, whatever. Uh, and I might show little stuff here and there. But if you haven't followed the second channel, please do. I would appreciate it. I'm trying to get that channel to 1,000 subscribers. And uh, I would like to try to monetize it this year. If possible. Uh, so if you don't know, that means 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours. Um, so it took me two years and a month and a half to do that on this channel, uh, which I do appreciate a ton. Thank y'all for everything. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, y'all have kind of given me the opportunity to do stuff like this. So I know stuff like the trucks is stuff I would have been doing anyway, but <clears throat> being able to work with people. Uh, light and blast it all. I have a box of stuff in the living room for the red truck. Uh, rock lights from Last Fit. Uh, stuff like that. You know, just stuff like that. Um, it's because of the YouTube channel. I can do that. Um, which is awesome. And again, I really, really do appreciate it. I know I don't get on camera a ton. Cause I, try to, I try to keep videos moving. I try not to do a ton of talking videos. Um, if you know what I mean. So... I try, I'm going to try to get on camera more. I know some people have mentioned that. Oh, you need to get on camera more. I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to make that a goal. But, um, like I said, the powder coating, the laser stuff, the decal stuff. Um, up here, you can't see it, but it's right up there. I have a Epson uh, ET2720 printer that we uh, converted for sublimation. Um, which is what this is, which is what um, this on my shirt is. I think I have some other stuff somewhere, but I don't, I don't, I don't really matter. Um, coffee cups, stuff like that. Um, so when I shut JS down, that's why I kept all this stuff. So I knew I kind of probably wanted to get back into this at some point. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing, uh, or working on doing. So, for the laser stuff, um, y'all, I think I mentioned it in one of the 300 videos. We went up North Arkansas, talked to a lady who owns a horse camp up there. We're going to be doing some stuff for her. Um, I believe we're doing 12 water bottles for her, lasered. Um, and then I'm going to make her some custom phone cases like this with uh, her logo on them. And we're going to take them up there to her and, um, you know, see what we can work out. Now, if that does work out, then I'll start on business paperwork and stuff like that. But I wanted to kind of get stuff out there first. So, um, I don't know why I'm rambling on about this, honestly. But I just want to mention this stuff. Um, that way, if the automotive videos don't, and I try not to let it happen, but if they run out for whatever reason, um, just know. Now, I'll, if that happens, I'll try to make like a short update video and post. That way, y'all know what's going on, but I try not to let that happen. Uh, I've got really close a few times, but uh, I haven't missed an upload day. Um, since I started the channel and I was uploading videos on my laptop over there. So, and the only reason I did there was because uh, the internet was too slow to do that. Now I do uh, edit and upload on my phone, uh, which is much faster. But regardless, um, I try not to let this channel suffer because of what else is going on. Uh, if y'all know what I mean. So, we're going to try to keep that from happening as <laughs> best that I can. But, like I said, I just wanted to show you all this stuff. Um, I think I have like five or six videos uh, to edit for that channel, which I really need to do. Uh, so, I'll probably work on that today uh, since it's just me here. But, the stuff from Blast It All, we're going to get that stuff installed. Uh, but, like I said, I need to talk to my grandpa. We need to get a game plan of what all we're going to do. If we're going to paint the thing, you know, all this stuff. 
I have a box. If it shakes the camera, I have this box down here that uh, is quite large. It used to be a printer box uh, that is full of vinyl. So I'm sure if we paint that cabinet, I'm sure I can find something in here. Uh, if not, I'll order something. It's not a big deal. And uh, we'll get new decals on the thing, which if I do that, that will be a video. Um, I'll just kind of show you all that stuff. Uh, because I think it's interesting. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, anyway, like I said, I want to be arranging some stuff in here and try to make it look a little less like a bomb went off in here and um, whatnot. I also need to edit those videos. I got a few videos I need to edit for this channel. Um, so, being that it's 319 on a Saturday, I'll probably do that today. But, like I said, we will get to that stuff at some point. Uh, I just wanted to make a video, show everything, and say thank you to Blast It All for helping me out here and deciding to work with us on this, because uh, I think it would be really, really cool to do um, and take an old Blast cabinet and make it, like, brand new again. So, anyway, uh, and I'll, there's also a few parts that I'll probably need along the way that we'll talk to them about and whatnot, but... Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for this one. So, with that being said, if y'all enjoyed this video, a little bit different kind of video today, uh, but if y'all enjoyed today's video or maybe found it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.